back. Here we go, judgment time. Yeah, well, it's all raining and there's a cat. Oh no, it's happening to this one. Oh, so you have to actually go to ca Oh, fuck's sake, you have to actually go to DLC, so I'll have to play it after I complete the game. I thought it'd been a game. I'll just go easy again, because I prefer playing this on easy, because it's a story we care about. And that's not visible. What the fuck? Let's go there. Bye. What's happening there, Lee, Steve? I played the f I played the first one. It was great. Loved it. Oh, drop and stuff. I went so far. Good stuff. Fire. Looks more like signal flares. Gonna say this is probably a false alarm or a prank. Copy that. You're clear to proceed. Ah, I told you this was a prank. I don't see any fire. <sighs> who in their right mind finds this kind of thing funny? People who enjoy causing a commotion. Huh. Hey. Check it out. What the hell? You guys want to see a dead body? <laughs> Shit. There we go again. Can't we just report this one in and go? Come on, man. You know we can't just leave this be. <sighs> Decomposed the fuck. <laughs> Definitely. It's a zombie. <laughs> Looks like Japan. Ninety nine point nine percent of criminal trials end with a guilty verdict. That makes the odds for a defense lawyer to get an acquittal about ten thousand to one. But I beat those odds. On a murder case. Oh, good. It's getting an actual recap of first game. Unfortunately, it came with a price the death of an innocent woman. The shadows of truth escape the courtroom, and when they do, someone has to drag them back into the light. The reality is, the law is neither as perfect or as fair as it's supposed to be. So I've made it my job to give those without a voice a chance to be heard. There they are. Hey, uh, talk. What? Man, I'm bored. It sucks. How about you hit me with some trivia then? That would pass the time. I mean, come on, man. You never know how long a stakeout's gonna last. Even Classic Kato, yeah, pretty much. I'm sure she is. Give me a sec to come up with a zinger, okay? He's always the same. Okay, sure. You think up a tough question, and I just leave you to your thoughts. I'll tell you, I find a Yakuza game. How does that even solve this problem, then, man? Son, I don't think I'm really in the mood for trivia at the moment. Okay, fine. We gotta spice this up somehow. So, Keiko-chan, this internet boy... Yagami. <laughs> Get like seen that? No, ask him. Yagami. Yagami. Besides, we don't even know for sure if it was a scam yet, right? Exactly. 
I don't know if you missed the start, Nicole. It pretty much shows a decayed body. Don't worry. At Yagami Detective Agency, we make sure our clients' hearts are at the heart of our business. That's so great to hear. I know I hired just the right people. Damn straight. Sunshine and rainbows with us. I love how he's still wearing that ugly ass shirt. <laughs> I love it. Kosuke kun did say he always eats fast food for lunch. Yeah, but after 20 minutes, you'd think he'd be done by now. I don't know. He always makes me worry, even his eating habits. Oh, I guess. This is a lot better. What a sweet girl like you get roped in by some dude off the net, huh? I wouldn't call it that at all. Oh, but we still got to get that shot. Me, if I said we took it slow at first, I'd say his patience paid off. Maybe it's hard for you to see, but he is a caring guy. So he drags you to the shadiest dive in Kamurocho and calls it a date. <laughs> Sounds like a real catch. He was just trying to impress me. He, he couldn't have known what would happen. Then he sticks his own girl with the bill. Dickhead doesn't begin to describe. Him. I mean, he is still in college. And besides, he said if we didn't pay, they'd call the Yakuza to collect. So they bled you out of 800 grand, 400 still to go, with a total of 1.2 mil. It'd be practically impossible to pay all that in one lump sum. Exactly. That's where Kosuke kun's idea came in. He said I could make some easy money working one of those clubs. Yeah, I'm oh, glad he did. Did he say anything about working with those Yakuza from the start? Guy meets girl, they go out, he racks up a tab. Next thing you know, she's on the market to pay it off. Same shit, different day in this town. Now you're just jumping to conclusions. Besides, a business taking advantage of people like that would have gotten shut down in no time, right? <sighs> Afraid not. Some lines the law just can't cross until it's too late. But I do owe you some credit for turning to a man like Genda Sensei. He's been defending this city a long time now, and his team's rock solid. Yeah, and when things get too dirty for them, Genda calls in guys like us to clean it up. Good for you, I guess. Listen. Kiko-chan, I hate to be so blunt, but Kosuke's totally been gaming you from the get-go. Until you see that for yourself, there's not much we can do for you. Ain't that right, Tuck? Well, let's not jump the gun, Kaito-san. We don't have proof of anything yet. Speaking of which, there's our man of the hour. Kosuke-kun. I'm gonna need to follow him. You two stay here. Oh god, is it a follow we'll mechanic still? Is it still the same? <laughs> Have they changed it? Some action. Careful out there, Tuck. Hey, Tuck, you read me? You gonna be okay tailing this guy? Or do you need the detective basics manual? Kaito-san, please. I could tail him in my sleep. <laughs> the manual says to keep your eyes open, actually. Be careful here. They've got to stand here for some reason. I just. Thank God. How 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 bad was the tailing though in the first? Oh, the turn run constant. Caught. Oh, you can act casual. Oh crap! I don't have it. Must be my imagination. You just have to hide behind, remember, every time just hide at a wall and stuff and then... Oh, they've got to be creeps in this one, like last time, <laughs> the best part. Contact with the new 
face. I love how he instantly he goes to. Oh, he's cheating. <laughs> Man, I haven't seen you in forever, Sakura Chai. It's because you barely show up to the club events, Kosuke Senpai. I probably wouldn't have seen you today either if I hadn't mistaken someone else for you. Sorry, I've just been so busy. I know, I gotta make time for the club. I know you've got a busy schedule, but it's not the same without you, Senpai. A lot of girls quit because you stopped showing up, you know? Oh, damn, that sucks. Uh, guess I better make some effort, huh? Yeah, that'd be great. But Senpai, while we're on the subject... Yeah? I hope you won't do anything that'll get those girls' hopes up either. I don't know if you know this, but the girls had a few big fights, actually. All that anger could boil over in your direction at any time is all I'm saying. Yeah? Wouldn't want that. I'll be careful. Well, I've got to get going to my next thing. Okay. Make sure you stop by the club, huh? See? Instantly accused him. Oh, he's a cheat. <laughs> There's a percentage bar now as well. A very percentage bar. Seeking up them stairs, are you absolute cunt? Fuck. Well, somehow he didn't notice me. At least you can use that Y, uh, pressing Y, that's a lot better, man, compared to the last time you just have to hide every freaking corner. button that sign. There we go. I hate it. I hate the tailor on us. Oh no. Hey, wait a sec. That's Yagami. He's the detective who reported Aniki's affair to his old lady. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, fuck that guy. Aniki got so pissed he took it out on us. He's still fucking sore about it. Yep, and they're gonna attack you when you're walking over here. Yep. <laughs> Yo, Yagami! Just your luck to be passing by us today. You're a dead man, bro! Man, this neighborhood never changes, does it? Oh god, look how small a health bar is and everything goes <laughs> it's time for. Oh, 
Come on, have a punch. There we go. I'll dance at you. I'll dance with you. <laughs> That punch, and we've got that one. Out of it. Nice dance. Hey, you can have it. There we XP boost, but I guess. Just crack it. Right, I've lost that fucking guy now, ain't I? I know I slowly walked down the street, well done. Oh yeah, I need to get more cash. I guess I'll stop by the Popo. <laughs> We're going to stand right behind. Much you taking it. Off. Sorry, I can't see him. I'm hiding behind this green hole. Fucking dude, turn around right before it. I was just about to walk up behind him and that Betty turns around. It just knows somehow. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've got to stand right here. There you go, Daddy. I swear I can't phone. Kaito san, I just sent you a new shot. Take a look. Yeah, I see it. Not half bad. Huh? What the? Yo, Doc, be real with me. Kosuke's guilty as all hell, right? Has he though? Way too much money to just cruise around with. A withdrawal for any amount wouldn't prove anything. Gotta be fair here. Healing missions were probably a worst part of the first game too. Tack, give me your status. What's Kosuke up to? Not a whole lot right now. He's just wandering around town. Pretty much killing time like your average college student. Any idea where he's headed? Probably see you question. Both. Actually, huh? he just ducked into a building. I'm going after him. Now hey, in. buddy, you new here? You can't just go waltzing in. And why not? Because I said so, that's why. Now beat it. Bye. Hey, didn't I tell you to leave? Don't make me call the cops on your ass. Isn't that a little excessive? All I wanted was to look around. Well, there's nothing to see here, so go look somewhere else. Is that my punch? <laughs> How come I can't fight him? <laughs> There's 
definitely more to this place than meets the eye. Suspicious. Hey. Suspicious. Hey. That's gonna work. Suspicious. Scarfed here. Yeah? Oh, for God's sake. Uh-huh. I just came up back. Hmm. Well, you can think. Right, so pretty much I've got to go on that duct. Right. Is there a think button there? I don't know. Aye, so you climb up there pretty much and then I'll show you. All I need to do is climb up there. Oh, I'll just that. What the fuck? Hmm. What the? Hey. So I might as well climb that side rather than that side, I'm confused. Oh, so he's gonna walk around, right? Makes sense. Parkour, parkour! Oh, you've got a grip stuff in that now, a grip gauge, what the hell? Climb up or down, hold B, right? And then if you had to stand up, right? I need to remember I need to hold B every time. I had the PJs. Yo, Doc. You hanging in there, buddy? Uh, kinda hit a wall here. What's that supposed to mean? You didn't lose the guy, did you? Look, my hands are tied right now, but everything's under control. Hey, cat. Why did I <laughs> front flip? <laughs> of course. Oh. Uh, hey guys, didn't mean to interrupt. Hey, who's this clown? First time I've ever seen him. Oh, you see, I'm uh, Kosuke's guest. Guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. Who the hell's Kosuke? Ah, that's the kid who keeps hanging around. You'd think he'd have wised up by now. Wait, then he'd be on the fifth floor. So what are you doing down here? Seriously, it's like he got me lost on purpose. You mind uh, pointing me in the right direction? Take the stairs to the fifth floor, then head all the way back. Your friend will be in the tatami room. The tatami room. Oh, of course. <laughs> Should have known this wasn't it. Before you go, I'm gonna need to verify your membership. Oh fuck okay. sake! I knew right. somebody's going out. Uh, here's my card. Should I? Fine. Shoot, I can't seem to find it. I'm gonna kick a shit out of Easter now. <laughs> That's so. Well, now we got a problem. 
Sorry. I'll be more careful next time, promise. There won't be a next time, dumbass. We oh. <laughs> yeah, that now, idea. Who the hell are you and how'd you get in? Oh, well. better start talking. Take me kick a shot. Here we go. Why did I just punch him with it? Tell me. Talking? What's Kosuke doing in the tatami room? We're not telling you shit. Well. She's just out of our smack your shit at you guys, yeah. So cool if I just throw him at the windy. I will. I'll just stamp his face instead. Sorry, need in the building, but I heard that fight in this room. Yeah, you good? What's going on? I'm still in that building with Kosuke kun. Had a little run in with some watchdogs. And apparently, Kosuke's no stranger. Right now he's in the tatami room. Oh, he is, huh? What do you think he's up to? Well, a betting man would say he's gambling. If it's a members-only building with goons posted on every corner, I'm telling you now, the tatami room ain't no tea shop. Huh, not a bad theory at all. It's like you're speaking from experience, Kaito-san. <laughs> You've got questions? I've got answers. He's pulling his mobile and kicking him! He said we have an intruder! I don't know how he got in! Say what? <laughs> What happened? You there? Tell me something, Todd. Why is a college kid hanging out with a bunch of gambling lowlifes? We're seeing this kid's true colors now, if you ask me. Yeah, it's hard to argue with that. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt until we catch him red-handed. Innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> is that some lawyer creeping back into your detective work? Well, whatever. Just don't get yourself caught. Believe me, I don't. We do. We want a fight. Fight's the best part. Oh my god, we can reach it with it getting caught, bro. Here we go. That beautiful jacket. an intruder in here. Let the others know for me. Yeah, okay. Loving the jackets and I saw puffer oh, <laughs> puffy. Like a, a bubble a fucking puffer jackets, bubble jackets. Okay, makes sense. Fuck off, cause it's gonna be up. Why am I like running everywhere now? How lucky was that? A key to unlock the door was that?
convenient. Lockpicking game, which is easy. I thought he was going to break his neck. <laughs> That's a good boy. A uh, good boy. Pick us up. Whatever it is. A dirty white thanks for this dirty cloth. Here's a dirty cloth. Stealth complete. God, they're going to have stealth arms or stealth in it now, aren't they? I think this is fucking Splinter Cell. Hey, don't just stand there. Shut the door already. Come on, I had you! Ah, why does this always happen? Come on, folks, who wants another round? Everyone place their bets? Now or never! You know you're on a losing streak, Kosuke. Why not be a good little boy and go home? Are you kidding? I was just getting warmed up. It's probably in day I AM, that's what it'll be. I know you were such a high roller. Where are you uh, getting all that cash from anyway? <laughs> Can't say too much about it, but I got me a pretty good hustle. What's that about? I punch him in the face, to be honest. Another girl with stars in her eyes, huh? Jeez, go ahead and tell the whole room. Hey, keep any of the secrets on you. You're one sneaky bastard. Oh, prick. How come I could just walk... Uh, oh, right, he's walked out front door. My camera out front door. My camera out hang me. Isabelle and oh, Kaito san, you called it. Kosuke kun just blew all his earnings on Chohan. <laughs> Told you. So, what do you say we do? Because I say we cut to the chase and have us a little one on one. Huh. My thoughts exactly. Good. I'll bring the car around. College boys about to learn something they don't teach in class. Well, I was kicking the show. <laughs> Hey man, hold up a sec. I think you dropped something. Huh? I've got my phone on me. What'd I lose? Well, it could be any number of things, to tell you the truth. Maybe your conscience, or even your integrity. <laughs> you feel like you might have left those somewhere. Huh? What's your freaking problem? Does scamming a young lady ring any bells for you? You've been working with a crooked bar to make her foot a 1.2 million yen bill. What in the hell are you even talking about, dude? Have you conned so many girls you can't even keep the scam straight anymore? You better back off me. What are you going to do? I've got the full support of the Tojo clan on this thing, man. Still think it's wise to talk shit? The Tojo clan? You mean the Yakuza? <laughs> Pissing yourself yet? No, I'm not really. Be real sorry, asshole! <laughs> the Tojo clan thugs got disbanded ages ago. Name dropping a long dead gang was supposed to scare me. I'm not very fucking be a dick. Son of a Let's fucking go! Yes! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Come on! That excuse for a punch told me all I need to know. Fuck you, man! That last one was just a warning shot! No more chances. The claws oh, are coming off right now, bro. And you're gonna get fucked up! I hear you, kid. So, 
I can take the gloves off too, right? Pump iron at the gym once a week, my man. Yeah, see, gem wide, so yeah. <laughs> gem wide, so weak. Oh, that can make you faint. You have seen. Uh, <laughs> That's what he get. Try to go dinosaur on there, but it's just not happening. Hey, Yoshiro son! Over here! Please, you gotta help me! The fuck you, it's going AD. Kosuke, what happened? This guy giving you trouble? He just started wailing on me all of a sudden. He did? Well, what's your problem? This gentleman you're harassing is my client. Client? Not a tatami room term for gambling addict? Gambling addict? Who told you about the tatami room? People only get in through me. And I sure as hell don't know you. Look, I don't have time to play around right now. It's too late, asshole. You just signed up for a beating! Oh my god, shut the fuck up. I'm going back to the four of you. <laughs> oh, every time. I defy these actually because he's fucking behind me, ain't he? Grab him for fuck's sake, grab him. Oh, I'm trapped behind the car. I'm gonna fight. Help me a bike. Shut up! We can have a bike. Oh! Don't tell Carson I broke my bike in a fight. This <laughs> guy, he's smacking people with a bike. Don't start yeah. running now. Oh, come now on. Now you're really asking for it. Now I've got to do a chasing. Remember that stupid thing as well in the first one? Ah, yeah, that's right. I remember this. Come on! I don't got to be so fucking fancy, I know. Just chase him. Take away business, man. It's cool because he actually runs up walls and stuff now rather than just skim by people. Oh yeah, fucker, I pressed the wrong button, he fucking smacked me and he put him there. He dead. Takes a lot more health off you know, when you're chasing people. Chase me to a path and most of this path is fucked. Carefully chase around directly, you know, it's a target, it's game over. Left, obviously. Hey, punch him into the ground there, punch him into the <laughs> Make me run across, dude. Come on, Kosuke Kun. Are you done? <laughs> you can't help there yourself, can you, Tom? For being a lawyer, you sure like to settle things with your fists. A lawyer? How the fuck are you a lawyer? Yagami-san, you're not really a detective? I'm a detective, all right. As for the badge, I still have a license to practice, so I hold on to it. 
Is it safe to assume then you used to work at Genda Law? Yep. Yes. Hit the nail on the head, actually. These days, he hands off the gigs that are better suited for detectives, like him. Now it's making a little more sense. Did you catch all that, Kosuke kun? <laughs> huh? Well, if you want a closer look, I'll be more than happy to accommodate you. What? Yeah. Care to go for a ride? <laughs> We're gonna be buds, Kosuke. Yay! It was a fast. It was a fast thing, me. That's um. Yeah, my number one. Time out, guys. This isn't funny. These damn things off me. I swear, this is all a mistake. Kosuke kun. Uh, Yuko John, don't let these assholes con you. Believe me, I didn't do anything wrong. Who the hell are these thugs? Who is Yuko John? Uh, it doesn't even know our name. My Fuck's name sake. Is Keiko, you jerk. And you think I trusted you? Here's the deal, Kosuke kun. First, you're gonna cancel her debt to that bar. But that's not even my call. And second, they'll be returning every yen she paid. Plus a little extra for us having to deal with your bullshit. You're out of your freaking mind! Do you even know who you're- I have a pretty good idea. And I don't think very highly of con artists who prey on innocent women. <laughs> you tell him, talk. Hey! That's my phone! Smartphone. Dial up that bar for me, would you? What bar? Drop the act, kid. That scam is the oldest trick in the book. You don't have any proof. Yeah, for is it? Do we need to spell it out for you? We've got you by the balls, you shit. <laughs> Who even are you people? <laughs> Some of Kamarocho's finest. The Yagami Detective Agency. <laughs> Yagami. You mean your detectives? It's in the name. Smart guy. Huh? Everyone in town knows. Us. They do? You're goddamn right they do. Don't talk like you never heard of us. Give the guy a break, Kaito san. We're still getting our name out there. Uh, oh. <laughs> Why does this have to get down in front of a client? This is beyond embarrassing. <laughs> Look, I, I get what you're after, but give it up. Uh, that money's as good as gone. The guy who runs that bar's ex Tojo clan. I was lying when I said he's Yakuza. Yeah? Well, I used to roll with the Tojo myself. I might even know the dumb bastard. You know he's all bark and no bite, don't you? The Tojo clan got disbanded. Yeah, but he's still a criminal! Just because his clan broke up doesn't change a thing! He's just a dickless ex-Yakuza strutting around, flashing a pin that don't mean shit. Still, even an ex-Yakuza is dangerous, right? Are you sure you'll be safe? Of course. Yeah. Got this under control. Danger is our specialty. So, which number? You saw it's run out well, Jake. It'll be alright. <laughs> really shouldn't. Still worried about pissing off an ex Yakuza? I'd worry more about the one right in front of you. Or would you rather try your luck? <laughs> Yo. Hey, uh, Chief. I love it, the actual DS, but no, this is 20 times better. Would you? Yeah, I am. Why, you can't <laughs> even see me. Stop all bit. Got yourself a new chick, huh? Oh, you just keep reeling them in, don't you? <laughs> Not exactly. No? Why? Well, at least you still got Keiko on lock. Yeah, you broads will do anything if you know how to squeeze them right. You could make a fortune milking her. Bastard. Wait a minute, though. What happens when Keiko brings you the money? Oh, <laughs> that's simple. First, we take the cash off her hands. Then we slap on a last-minute late fee and send her sobbing all the way to the soap lab. <laughs> right. Sounds like you got it all figured out. Wait, why'd your voice change all of a sudden? <laughs> Took you long enough. Wait up. Who the hell is this? I suggest you remember this voice. Because I'm about to come knocking. And this time, 
You'll be the one paying the price. Oh, it's <laughs> Holy shit. You're kind of insane, man. Sorry to break this to you, Keiko-san. Kosuke-kun had you fooled. No matter what lengths you went to for him, all he ever thought of was using you. You were just an easy mark the whole time. Don't get me wrong, Keiko-san. This did start out as business, but now I've seen uh, the light. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's enough out of you. Bye. Try all this game. It's just pure. It's it's just uh, shut up. Come on, let's get you back to Gendo's before the fireworks start. Trust me, you'll be safe there. Okay. You wouldn't want to see what we're gonna do to that place anyway. <laughs> it's gonna get ugly. You mean you're going to take them on alone? Of course, that's what they always do. <laughs> that's always how it goes down around here for some reason. Let's go, Kiko-san. Gendo Sensei's office is just up ahead. I wonder if you still get the same shitey office as well. I'm assuming so. As long as I get to put the cats in it. That was the best part, remember last time? The little this cats. is Genda Law, where I got my start as a lawyer. The owner, Genda Sensei, it's like a father to me. And the fat guy's still in here at Fancy the last time. I remember that part. Genda Sensei. Look, there's everybody. Where is everyone? Oh, Saurakun and company are down at the courthouse. Those two are always putting in a hard day's work. It's good to see you. Ah, oh, I believe we met the other day. It was that con artist case. How'd it go? I know, I know, I know, I need to get a side missions, it's the side missions that are really crazy ones. That's about his only redeeming quality. Yeah, he's really gone above and beyond. <laughs> Sorry to impose, Genda Sensei, but can Keiko san stay here a while? Fine by me. It was getting a little too quiet around here anyway. Can we see down cut a few network connection power goods from mailbox either Yokohama and any in Yokohama or Yama? Oh, you get to go to Yokohama? Thanks for spoiling that for me. Goddamn DLC. So you want me to stay here until things calm down? You sure that's safe? Yeah. We'll be back before you know it. Well at least we know we get to go to Yokohama now. It's just saying. I've got to save my game first or something, is that what it's wanting me to do? I've got to talk again, I've got to talk him first before I leave. Speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Yeah. <laughs> big enough to keep Saori Kun and Hoshino Kun out of trouble, I suppose. It's not a murder case, is it? No, no. It's an anti-nuisance ordinance violation. It always turns into a murder case, though. Every oh, time. You mean... It's a groping case? Groping! She's a smart one. This happened two months back. Some good Samaritans at a train station pinned down a groper who was trying to make a getaway. Wouldn't you know it? The culprit was a cop, of all things. Makes you wonder what this world's coming to. Naturally, the press had a field day with it. It was all you saw on the news for a while. Casting a few there, there was a oh, deep yeah, body yeah, to start. Hearing about that. It was all decomposed. Over the That's a case that gets the main the case. It's going to be. Hour makes the news. It was all they talked about. Probably because he was a policeman. The judge is handing down the verdict today, and I don't expect he'll be pleased with it. Every answer he's given has been I don't recall. Like that'll do him any good. Hey, yeah, keep me pale, me bastard. Hey, hey, let me go. Someone help. Get a station car. This man grabbed me on the train. He put his hand up my skirt. No, you're wrong. 
You got the wrong guy. Stop struggling, asshole. Let me go. The cops can check your hands to see if you did it or not. Be here in a second now. So just chill out. Hey, are you filming this? Put that camera away. We have caught there. Any old crew are there? The Harrison. Do you mind sitting up straight in court, please? A bad attitude. Graphics are still great in this man. Does it even matter? One of the faces, especially. It's over. The verdict has already been decided. Your demeanor still has consequences. The worse things are looking for you, the better an impression you need to make. But you didn't know if so. Definitely not talking Japanese though. <laughs> You're not put it in English. Leave an impression. <laughs> well, if I were the judge, I'd be happy about having an easy day on the job for once. This is no time to be cynical either. Besides, the judge hasn't... It's decided. Guilty is charged. <laughs> this also means... It's almost time for the curtain to fall until the grand finale. What? And so, let's get this show on the road. All rise. Like I said, we should have a verdict coming down today. We only really needed Saori Kun at the bench, but Hoshino Kun insisted on joining her. Truth be told, we still can't tell when he's trying to help or when he's trying to impress her. <laughs> then he'll need to pull out all the stops. Saori Kun's no slouch. Plus, she's got ice in her veins. Speaking of, how'd you end up on the hook for defending an active duty officer? Well, another firm had it on their plate first, actually. Comro PD, they have their go-to guys. The plan was to get a confession, earning the defendant a nice retirement package and a simple case dismissed. You mean, he'd be found innocent? Bottom line, yeah. On the condition he left the force, anyway. Correct. But the plan fell apart when the cop kept insisting he didn't do it in spite of the evidence stacked against him. So, once Comro PD's lawyers decided to throw in the towel, the case went straight to Sauri Kuhn, who just happened to take a call. What if he didn't date, though? Makes sense. But shit, Elasi's just meeting I'm up. sure they'll be back soon if you wanted to stick around. I would, but I gotta tie up a few loose ends. But let us know if any new requests come in. Restless as always. You ever heard of a vacation, Yagami? <laughs> That's exactly why I turned my hobby into a job. Besides, I like staying busy. <laughs> Fine. You never did listen to your elders. Anyway, I shouldn't keep Kaito-san waiting. Thanks again for looking after Keiko-san. Let's go back down there. We get to go to this bar. Let's go to the bar. Hey, ready to wreck shop talk? <laughs> Not gonna be any bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. Let's do it. Let's get to work. That's what I'm talking about. I've run a bit of map after this mission, see if there's any side missions are in. This the dump you brought Keiko-chan to? It is! So could you please just let me go? Not a chance. You get a front row seat for when your boss shows up. What are you, crazy? He'd murder me on the spot! Then he'd murder you two for dessert! Huh. He's that scary, huh? Yes, I don't know who it is. Not to mention all his boys. All I don't know if it's somebody we know for a first game. Pricks like that need to learn how to treat a lady. 
Agreed. Oh, hold on. Sugiura. Really? Oh, could he choose a worse fucking time? Talk about a buzzkill. Hey there. You miss me? Jeez, it's been what? Half a year? Everything good over there? Good as it gets. There he is. Free running well, cunt. Got some good news of my own I wanted to give you, man. Tsukumo kun and I have our very own detective agency. Oh, I see. Wait, are you saying you've started a detective agency? Meaning now you're a detective. Yep. Got our own office and everything. So I say you go to Yokohama. Didn't want to muscle in on you, sir. Man. I don't know what to say. Oh, and by Tsukumo, you mean the one and only. At least the only one I know. Body hacking might give us an edge. Oh, it's a wee guy I always tell you about everybody was not in hot constant. Never figured he and I were on the same wavelength about stuff. You wanna wrap this up, talk? Anyway, we got a pretty big case. And to be honest, we're in a little over our heads. So that got me thinking, why don't we call up the bros? So they can show us how it's done. Uh do you need an answer right away? We're in the middle of the usual. Oh yeah? More sneaky shit? Yep, I'll tell you all about it later. Oh, come on. Give me just a hint. Sorry, buddy. You all set? <laughs> then let's roll. Oh, I've lost to be hacker guy. He's in Yokohama now. Is that the camera out show? No! Oh, fuck. Are we going to have to fight for all these cunts? Kosuke, care to explain what the fuck's going on? It's uh, not what you think. We're here on account of a woman named Keiko Hamada. She says she's been threatened by an illegitimate business. Oh, I see. You're the guy who had this dipshit's phone. Yagami Detective Agency, at your service. Yagami your service, detective. baby. Yo, wait a sec. You the kid Matsugane-san took in? There. You see? <laughs> I told you people have heard of us. <laughs> As for me, the name's Kaito. Used to wear the Matsugane <laughs> myself. Oh, I've heard plenty about you. You're a real celebrity, buddy. <laughs> a man's gotta have a reputation, right? Masaharu Kaito. Ugly as an ape and just as dumb. Let's an amateur thief get the drop on him that forks over the family safe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're a real legend. Don't talk like you were there, jackass. You want an ape? I'm about to go ape shit here. Come on now. That's <laughs> lightens, man. Fuckhead. Now that we're past introductions, we're here to get Keiko-san's money. And we'll be tacking on our fee on top of that. Just business. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hear that, boys? The detectives come to collect. You know the best part of breaking ranks with the Tojo clan? The freedom. Yeah. No more paying cuts to guys upstairs. Makes us even tougher. And guess what I spent the cash on? The walls. Now, this is damn good soundproofing. Meaning whatever goes on inside, stays inside. You'll find out just how convenient that is. You hear that, Kaito-san? He says we're free to cut loose. Oh, yeah. Best news I've heard all day. I'm gonna open up a can of... Hey, uh, hold that thought a minute. <laughs> just ask the phone call, always out. Hey, Jagami C. Did Sugiyoshi call you a second ago? He did, but... Look, Tsukumo, now speaking of time. <laughs> oh, so you really are just busy? He said you hung up on him, so I wanted to make sure. He didn't offend you, did he? I'd hate to think he upset you, you know? For fuck's sake. But if so, we didn't mean it. On behalf of both of us, I offer my profuse apology. Yep, no offense taken, man. But you see my point, right? Sugiura, she and I are a team. Our actions For fuck's sake. Company. Any responsible member of a company. I mean, any responsible member of society. It's it's a matter of respect. Okay, I get the picture. We'll continue this later. Okay, but when is later? 
should I call you back? Fucking if you have an estimate, I can set a timer. That way I'll know what it's convenient. There we go. Fuck's sake. Right. Uh, where do we leave off? You gotta be shitting me. Yeah. <laughs> pretty lame talk. That's it. You jokers are dead meat. Let's see if I can do anything to bar the one but they keep fucking trying to hit me when I'm near the bar. Fucking not going to chill, so... Come here, dickhead. Fuck it. There we go, he double yeet the face. There we go, okay. Kick him in the butt! He did. Stand on him now. <laughs> Just stand on him. Yeah, we got our money. Listen, I just wanted to thank the both of you for all you've done. Well, I'm just glad to hear they got your money back. These two are something, huh? Oh, yes. I don't know how I could possibly repay them. Uh, don't worry about it. Besides, those thugs paid our service fee and then some. <laughs> nice of them to eat the cost, huh? Beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. Nah, nah. I take it all back. Anyway, what happened to the crooks? If they're smart, they're skipping town. Doubt they'd reopen after how bad we wrecked the place. As for Kosuke, I made sure to tip his college off about his little side business. Should help him rethink his life choices. So I'd say this case is closed. Well, I've sure learned my lesson. It's a scary world out there. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. From now on, I choose the place when meeting boys online. And I should probably change dating apps while I'm at it. That's your big takeaway? Really, King of Chunk. You're laying this all on the app, not the sketchy internet dudes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Plenty of people these days meet their match online. It's true, Kaito-san. Apparently that's a thing now. You see, if you don't seize the opportunity when it knocks, won't be just the times that leave you behind. Fine, fine. Here He's old loud. school. He's old school. Gotta go meet him at a bar. <laughs> See ya. Sorry, son and Hoshinokun sure are taking their sweet time. Now that you mention it, they should have left the courtroom a while ago. Maybe they stopped for a quickie somewhere. There's nothing between those two. Nothing real, anyway. These old eyes can tell that much. Wisdom comes with age, huh? Damn right it does. And I've got more than you kids on both counts. You talking about Matsugane-san? Yep. The lawyer and the Yakuza. Best of both worlds. Though we came from different backgrounds, we were brothers in arms. Both trying to make it in Kamuracho. You two ought to visit his grave every now and again. We will. That goes without saying. Well, I guess we should get going. I guess so. Thanks for having us on such short notice. Oh, and give the two lovebirds our regards. Soon we get out of Oh, here we go. The court is prepared to issue its verdict. The sentence for the defendant, Akihiro Ihara, 
is six months of penal servitude. He's getting prison time for his first offense? Isn't it usually just probation in cases like this? Yes. I'm sure his attitude didn't help the situation. From the start, the evidence was stacked against him, and all he did was deny it. If that will be all, we can proceed with the court's rationale. The defendant may be seated. You'd rather hear this standing up? Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. Oh, maybe you hadn't heard that. What? Oh. Dale? What is he talking about? That is that. Oh. No. oh. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. In that case, I don't have, make sure I don't you pass this along to the Kanagawa police. I don't. They'll want to know that the body oh, belongs to it's a guy coming. named Hiro Mikoshima. I've not got that one. Four years ago, this man took me. my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. He deserved to die a thousand times. But he was never even accused of a crime. No. He just went on with his life. The law let him walk. An utterly broken Are system. Are you okay? Order in the court. The defendant shall refrain from making such outbursts. Defense, do you have an explanation for the meaning of this? Uh, Your Honor, we, uh... Well, I know I've not actually got her added on Hang Me because also I've never spoke to her before, but I've added her business page. I said, Oh, the business page. <laughs> How's that for an honest day's work? I just want to go put my feet up in the office. Sounds like a plan. I need to get back to Sugiro, too. He was telling us about a big job. You mean a big job for us? Yeah, down in Yokohama. By the way, Tsukiura and Tsukumo, they're detectives now. Those two detectives? A <laughs> good one, Tog. Wait, you serious? This game is absolute bullshit. It's like it's designed to eat your money. Yeah, what a fucking scam. Fuck this. I'm beyond pissed. Hey. I need to unload on someone's face. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm dude. Why don't we go give it, some yeah. asshole a game over? You know I'm always down. That one's 10,000, man. What the fuck's sake, blue shit. I had the corresponding about not enough SP and you can still. I always go for the specials. So you can put them right, hold on. Where are we going? See if there's any side missions on the map, that's always a check. You've always got to check for the side missions. There's three. There's one here, actually. There's fucking tunnels here. Wait. Where are you? Are these side missions or are these just other? 
Und wo ich die Rassen in. Really, guys? Defo is in the cave, has he done that corner? Remember that sense? The fuck is RK? Got to date all your asses in this as well, that's an I think. So are these just random convos you can listen to, I guess? Eh, uh, no location list, where's like the... Where's like the... A legend? I don't go here and see what the fuck they're saying. John? Is that him? I go to Theatre Avenue because there's always something going on down here. I got the eye on my partner. Slop in it. Ding ding ding! Ah, so it's just random cuts. So there's no side missions there anyway, and there must not be any on the map at all. They're just random convos, which is weird. So maybe I'll just head straight for the Agami's fucking detective agency bit. These guys also. Oh, fucking hell. Bye bye, face. I'll just slide by and name right the fucking mush here. Give me a random mushkey. Is the same place. He's with tiny fucking office. This is the Yagami Detective Agency. I run the place with the help of my partner, an ex Yakuza named Kaito. We know. We played the first one. I remember. I wish I could say keeping this place afloat was smooth sailing. But the reality is, we'd be drowning if it weren't for the gigs we get from Genda Sensei. It's not like we don't have the technology. But when street smarts fail, most of the time we have to get physical. That happens a lot. Yeah, what games he got on his console this time? Oh, he's getting master system this time. Oh my god, he's got Alex the Kid. Oh my god, do you fucking kid on? Yeah, I want new. He's got fucking Alex the Kid. 
Oh, come on, I punched that bug perfectly. You fuck right off, game. No! Ghost, they killed me. Oh my god, man. I'm, I'm failing it first leveling this already. God damn it! I can't believe they put Alex Kidd on this part. No fucking way, man. Right, how do you quit? Because I need to get back to it. There we go. Ah, it's cool, but it means I've got a Master System. It means I can actually get Master System games for it. That's fucking sweet. Right, hold on. Ah, there's nothing in my fridge. I wonder if your glasses still come should make you some food and shit, right? Guess we can finally take a breather. Weren't you supposed to call Sugiura? I was, wasn't I? Crazy how he ended up in our line of work. After seeing us in action, who could blame him? You got it, kid. That's cool, even though I died on it. Not played it in years, man. Yagami san, everything okay over there? Yeah, sorry, it's a lot. That's real Steve Sonic San and Sonic Master System. Oh! Oh, yeah. Listen, man, you gotta come check out Yokohama. We've been getting jobs left and right down here. And if we can ace this case I've got lined up, we'll be the hottest detectives in town. Oh, yeah? You sure it's a legit lead? Hey, have some faith. Would I waste your time on a bad lead? Just looking out for you, man. <laughs> well, I do appreciate that. Then should I save the details for when I see you? Sure. When do you want us over? Honestly, ASAP. Tomorrow, if you can swing it. We're based in Ijincho. Look for an office that says Yokohama 99 out front. That's us. The real question is, you pre on such short notice? Uh, let me check my schedule. The schedule is nothing. What schedule? Outside of today's shit, we haven't had work in weeks. If I tell them that, they'll lowball our cut, smart guy. Oh, right. <laughs> Guess we don't want to look desperate. Uh, sorry, Sugira. Yeah, tomorrow works just fine. Perfect. Man, this is gonna be so great. Oh, and Kaito-san's coming too, right? He'll be there. See you guys soon, then. Sugira said you'd give us the details when we get there. Huh. Way to build the suspense. Yokohama, though. Can't say I'm really familiar with that neck of the woods. Same here. But you know what? Kamurocho has been pretty tame lately. Maybe this is our chance to broaden our horizons. <gasps> Leaving the best place ever? How dare you? How dare you? Is it starting there? That's the game just starting. Fuck, there he is, that comes back.
whatever she is, the one that you're arguing with your fancy. Going to a different tune as well, that's mental. Chapter one. A new tune to explore. Yes. Exciting. Close to Chinatown. So much for us getting a decent meal on this trip, huh? Well, then how about on the way home we take ourselves a little detour? Maybe. Sukumo's place is way out there. Want to take a taxi? Well, I suppose we could. But why don't we hoof it? Yeah, we could see the sights. I guess I'm on board with that. Do 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 do. Oh, finally, we're getting on a bit. Right, so let's see if I get some up as. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, it's not bad actually, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Right, is there any side missions kicking about? Pretty sure it's handshakes rather than messages. Don't see any right now. He's never showed up before, so I don't know if I should actually stand and listen to them or not. Nah, I don't know the end. Oh, it's head. Come across here. Can I just run across the street? Ah, fuck. Paper plate, woo! Push your store on a bit so I can open my things. Oh, never mind, something's gonna happen here then. Yo, hold up a sec, Todd. Hmm? Nonsense over there. So, would you call me? What the? Hey, what are you filming me for? Knock it off! Chill out, man. Why do you care? I don't see anything that says I can't record here. Enough! Stop! Just give me a reason. You have one? It's a free country, isn't it? Whoa! Hey! What gives? You just kicked my sign over! Ah, that was the wind, man. A big old gust just came through. Right? Yeah, crazy. Just now it whooshed right over. Uh, I told you! Put that down! <laughs> Come on! Kids don't seem to give any fucks about people these days. True that. Agreed. So much for seeing the sights, huh? Well, you're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? Go take a show. Do you have to ask? <laughs> so, anything else you want to accuse us of? I'd say you must be losing it, Pop. You goddamn brats! I got that one. He called us goddamn brats. You picking on high schoolers, man? Uh, no. I just don't want you loitering in front of my store. 
That's all I said, okay? So stop disturbing my customers. <laughs> that part's not gonna make the video. Wow, is that one of those new smartphone models? May I? What the hell? Damn, the camera on this thing is amazing, man. My parents buy it for you? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Crap, he kicked Sakaki down. You must be saying things, kid. Anyway, your smartphone's kind of dirty, don't you think? <clears throat> Let me see. Hey! <laughs> my phone back! You want it back? I'll give it back, but only if you put this poor restaurant owner's sign back up first. Asshole. You're going about to fuck it, eh? You think you can fuck me? Oh, look okay, at these cunts. Alright, should ya? Yeah, we prick. I'm gonna kick his shit right out of you. Come on. Snake? Oh, snake's a new one. Oh, snake's fast as fuck. Love that. Oh, I shall love snake. I got press it just when an enemy attack, shake them on. Yeah. Oh yeah, me dick. I need jab on there. Shit man, I'm pressing, it's not fucking well, then, let me up. There you go. <laughs> Made him tap it. Yeah. I need to stop hitting L1 at the right time there. You got a desk, but it's like a pure tutorial one. You don't take shoes. <laughs> oh, that's class. I think it's the windy man. I love that, that's the best thing ever. I buy my buy against the wall, I built my foot, it's gonna smash him through that, to be honest, but. I mean, it's still cool as fuck. Uh, that stinks like a bitch! Yeah, we cunts. For fuck's sake, these guys are monsters! Snake seems to be one of my favorites, but it's dead weak. Yo, <laughs> was that Aikido just now? Don't tell me you've been training in a secret dojo or something. Eh, just more of my own thing, really. Figured I'd find a way to hold back for punks like them. Here, this came from one of those kids. Your call what to do with it. <sighs> you really didn't have to, but thank you. I had that those were students friends. from Serio High. The cunts. <sighs> You'd think private school kids would be better behaved. Nope, but they're just as immature. They look like a bunch of entitled brats. <laughs> They'd learn some manners the hard way in Comrade Show. Well, we've got our fair share of unsavory types. The Yakuza, not to mention those Yokohama Leomon gangsters. And those kids wouldn't dare to mess with them. So they're selective about their targets. Yes, they'll only harass you if they think they'll get away with it. Think they'll be back for more? I certainly hope not. But anyway, I sure am glad you stopped by. Come to think of it, you're the only ones who've ever intervened. And I take it you're not from around here? Yeah, but we might end up staying. For a while at least. 
Christ. Ever hear of a detective agency called Yokohama 99? We were on our way there right now. Hmm. I'm afraid that doesn't ring a bell. It's because I'll just knew. That's all right. If anything, we should get going. Well, sure. us? Oh, but before that, please take this with you. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Wristband. Oh, we get a cut the gear again. That's right. Just hang it spots, right, 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 right. So it's files actually, it's files actually. What is it? How did I equip stuff again? I should add items. I wonder if you pick up keys and all that stuff in this as well again, like the old, the old ones. Is this it here? No. Let's put it in the corner. Yokohama 99. Yep, that's the place. Whoa, not too shabby, guys. Not bad, I walk in here and speak to him. Yokohama nan nan, baby. Now look at their fucking office high tech Yo. shit. Ah, if it isn't the man of the hour, Yagami she. to get my code to it. Hey, got him out of that internet Gentlemen, cafe. Welcome. How are you? <laughs> this guy. First he falls off the radar. Now he's got this sweet office. <laughs> little shit. You're still quick as a thief. Maybe a little quicker, actually. Well, I'd say thief isn't very fair. It was stealing. Oh, come on. You know I wasn't doing it to line my own pockets, right? We took from the powerful and gave to the powerless. It was altruism. And it's all in the past now, so let's just leave it at that. The place is nice, though. It's kind of familiar, even. It should be. You're our inspiration, Yagami Detective Agency. You guys are the goal. Huh. For sure. So, how about you guys take a load off? If you're ready, I'll give you guys the briefing. Say what? A briefing, man? Let him go over what we know. I've actually got an agenda for today's meeting, too. An agenda? Just roll with it. Give him a chance. All the detective talk has made him go a little overboard. I'm sure it'll work itself out. <laughs> it's all good. Imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery. To sum up why we called you, we've been seeing a major upward trend with these kinds of cases. What do you think? Care to take a wild guess? I'll give you a hint. It's not a problem you'd find in Kamurocho. So, it's specific to Yokohama? I know. It's gang warfare. The outfits run in Chinatown or at each other's throats, and you guys sort out the aftermath. Well, we did just hear about the Yokohama Liuma. They're a gang, right? Yeah, the Yokohama Liu, whatever. Bet they're stirring up shit as we speak. Actually, we haven't run into any gang related activity at all. Are you kidding on? No, <laughs> we're just getting him in the gang. It's conspicuous. I'll just tell you, it's bullying. Bullying? Sometimes parents ask us for evidence to prove their child was bullied. Fairly often, they want these bullies taken to court immediately. 
They'll also want to hold the schools accountable. But none of that happens without solid proof. How old are these kids? Most of them are in middle school. Research shows that boys at that age experience a sudden spike in testosterone. This leads to outbursts to assert dominance, compounded by the irrationality of an immature brain. Scientifically, this potent mix of impulses often manifests as bullying. Yeah, I call that puberty. But that would apply specifically to boys, right? You're getting cases with girls involved too, aren't you? Ah, with girls, it's more likely rooted in oxytocin, a brain hormone that also has links to bullying. See, oxytocin fosters feelings of attachment, regardless of your gender. For instance, scientists have observed that a mother's oxytocin levels surge when looking at her child. Well, then it's not always a bad thing, is what you're saying. Indeed. Did you know it was oxytocin that enabled cooperation among our primitive ancestors? Ancient matriarchs were particularly vulnerable during childbirth, thus requiring communal support. So you could kind of say the survival and reproduction of our species was largely oxytocin at work. After all, raising a child in the wilderness would have been impossible alone. However, this intense social need bore a dark side. Individuals who failed to contribute were shunned and eventually condemned. Let's say there was a villager who never put in his fair share. All he did was eat the crops. If that became the norm, nobody would work until the village was on the brink of starvation. And by then it'd be too late. Precisely. That's why these offenders were punished. Primitive as it was, punishment equated to justice. A necessary measure for society's greater good. And societies with a stricter sense of justice were the ones who endured in the long run. Put this into focus. These people are our direct ancestors. So from a science perspective, Modern-day bullying is just primitive? More like it's hardwired into our nature. Hormones are fucked up, huh? I wouldn't chalk it up to just that. However, we humans do tend to reject what's foreign to us. Whether we're socially awkward or simply misunderstood, those who don't conform are ostracized. That's how it's been since time immemorial. The misfits of civilization are deserving of punishment. All over the world, no matter where or when. Looks like you guys have been doing your homework. Tsukumo-kun's the one hitting the books. I'm more in charge of the field work. Makes sense. Oh, so a Here's another fun fact while we're at it. Yeah. An act of betrayal also increases the human urge to punish the offender. In those cases, the act of punishment floods the brain with dopamine, triggering an instant rush of pleasure. In other words, serving justice can feel just as good as eating or having sex. Sure, but that's where we have to draw the line. Justice can't be twisted into joy, or it stops serving its purpose. Very perceptive, Yagamishi. So, back to reality. What's this big case that needs all the manpower? Ah, yes. Our client is the chairman of a private school. He wants us to scour the campus for any and all instances of bullying, leaving no stone unturned. That said, he also requires us to be discreet. How big is this school? Uh, let's see, there are six classes per grade, making 18 in total. So approximately 600 Fuck students. Sake. Given that, Sugiyoshi and I couldn't possibly bet them alone. We'll be meeting the chairman at a restaurant tonight to lay out the specifics. How about the two of you come join us? We could use the help. <laughs> For a couple of rookies, you sure have it together. You guys are free until dinner. Oh, we already made the reservations in Chinatown, by the way. Think of it as a little welcoming party. God, the restaurant's name is Joey. If you could meet us there, that'd be great. Sure. You didn't have to do that. That's as far as I'm going to go, pretty much, but looks like we're in a whole new town. 
see if there's any side missions for her. Shake it. No, yeah. But I'm assuming tons are going to come. So thanks for watching the stream. Uh, and I'll be back on Monday with Dead Island 2. And I'll catch you in the next one.